Opioid overdose deaths are skyrocketing across the U.S. and yet one of the most effective treatments for addiction remains vastly underprescribed. The National Desk Angela Brown joins us now for this Addicted America report. We are talking about addiction treatment medications like Suboxone. A study published in the New England Journal of Medicine found that between 2016 and 2019, only around 20% of patients with opioid use disorder actually filled prescriptions to treat their addiction. The opioid crisis is killing Americans at record numbers. Public health experts are now advocating for greater harm reduction policies to save lives. Harm reduction is a set of um, priorities, principles, practices that seek to reduce the harm associated with using drugs and policies that um, lessen the impact of uh, communities impacted by drug use. One of the most life-saving treatments, Suboxone, it works to reduce cravings and painful withdrawals. This study found Suboxone reduces the risk of an overdose by 50% but not enough people get the medication. It's estimated that only 20% of people that have opioid use disorder have prescriptions for opioid medication. One major player, federal policy. Last year, Congress expanded access to buprenorphine, resulting in about 7% of clinicians being cleared to prescribe it to a limited number of patients. Access increases when there's no restriction to prescribing, but still the legacy of having that restricted access is that clinicians are less likely to be trained. Suboxone use also has stark demographic differences. One study analyzed 11 million addiction medication prescriptions filled between 2006 and 2020 and found 8.1% of patients were black, 6.3% were Hispanic, and 84.1% were white. You want to think about, you know, equity, um, the system, it, it works for some people and it doesn't work for others quite as well. The CDC says since the pandemic began, 13% of Americans had reported increasing or starting substance use as a way of coping with stress. In Washington, D.C., I'm Angela Brown.